Sports Professor Rick Haro inside the $1.3 trillion business of sports with your Maxwell matchups, the top three games of the week with off-field implications brought to you by the Maxwell Football Club. Number one, number two, Ohio State in Ann Arbor. Number three, Michigan. The teams have met uninterrupted save COVID since 1987, 1897, 1897, and they hate each other even more, they say. The sign-stealing stuff in Michigan, some stay was Ohio State leaked. Who knows? But the bottom line is they don't like each other very much, but they do contribute significantly to their respective economies. Look at a press release regarding Ohio State. 68,000 students annually, 7,800 faculty members, an operating budget of eight billion, 117,000 jobs. Michigan's athletic department, $17.1 million surplus, $210 million operating revenue, and a record $251.6 million in revenue between 2021 and 2022, up for $107 million the year before, certainly surviving COVID. The bottom line is, whatever happens on the field, these teams survive, hold a bake sale for neither. That's number one. Number two, number 11, Oregon State. Number six, Oregon. What a rivalry. The Civil War started in 1894, and the rivalry is like none other. This is rivalry weekend, but the bottom line is this will be maybe the last time they play, certainly in conference. Washington State and Oregon State, as we speak, are two teams in the Pac-12 with the rights to the rest of the conference hoping to bring in some Mountain West teams as well. Whether they do or not, we're not sure what happens to the rivalry. Many are talking about asking Oregon to reschedule their game next year against Boise State to bring Oregon State back into a rivalry context, albeit in a different conference. And Oregon State has asked the legislature for $30 million to soften the blow of the Big 12, Pac-12's demise. We'll see how that all works. But on the field is an entirely different story off the field. We haven't told the full story yet. That's number two. Finally, number three, number eight, Alabama at Auburn, the Iron Bowl. This may be the biggest rivalry yet. They've started in 1893. In 1907, they stopped because of ticket snafus, referee disputes, everything two teams and schools that would hate each other, you can imagine, didn't do. But then in 1948, the state of Alabama says you better start playing again or no state funding for either. And they did. But in 1989, after the school said Birmingham was really too close to Alabama, they decided to alternate sites. And at Auburn this year and rotating every year, the bottom line is War Eagle Tide is at the top of the list of rivalries quite clearly and 80% of the televisions in Birmingham tuned into this game last year. Here's my question. What are the other 20% doing? Sports professor Rick Haro with the Maxwell matchups, the top three games with off-field implications brought to you by the Maxwell Football Club.